Hey fellow YouTubers, Movie Mogul here again with a review for you. This time it's going to be the Aegis case for the iPod Touch 4th generation by Trident. Trident is known for making their Kraken cases and their Cyclops cases and this is a new foray for them into the iPod Touch world. Uh, this case is actually sort of like similar to the Outer Box commuter case and however I'll explain to you why I chose this case over the commuter case uh, near the end of the video. Currently you can find it for $24.95 on Trident's website which is tridentcase.com and they offer many different styles and um, this case comes in six different colors. It comes in blue, yellow, black, red, pink, and green. For this review I chose the, uh, the red. Now for the box here uh, nice packaging, very easy to see the product. Over at the top here you'll see the uh, Trident, um, this is a QR uh, code that will take you to the Trident website. And um, it's pretty basic over here. Now on the back is where it gets interesting. The back gives you um, the options here, the um, screen protector. And it's actually not stored inside the case like other cases are. Um, inside here is your screen protector. It's going to give you your screen protector and your microfiber cloth built in here. We're actually not going to use this since my case already has a screen, my iPod already has a screen protector on it. And um, let's just go ahead and get into putting the case on the device. Now as we open it here, very nice packaging. We will see. The case comes out pretty easily. And oh, here's the microfiber cloth, my mistake. Um, they also include an audio extender. Now, from what I understand from other reviews, the uh, three and a half millimeter port is pretty difficult to get out. Um, we will try it uh, after I get it installed on the iPod, but um, this shouldn't be a big deal. And uh, most headphones, honestly, are small enough to fit inside this thing, but if you have something crazy, then you're going to need this. Let's go ahead and put that aside. We're also going to go ahead and put the microfiber cloth aside. Another thing I want to note. Kudos to Trident because this thing is huge, especially for the iPod. It covers this sucker really nice, and it's really nice and soft. So this is definitely a microfiber cloth I will be using on a daily basis. Now, the case comes in two pieces. It comes with the silicone skin on the inside and the hard polycarbonate shell on the outside. Now let's go ahead and look at the silicone skin first, and we're going to go ahead and get the iPod installed. Silicone skin is very soft, very nice and rubbery. Um, don't worry about scratching your iPod with this thing. This thing is actually pretty nice and solid. Uh, it's also reinforced on the edges, which will give you some extra drop protection. Uh, as you can see, the camera cut out here is cut out perfectly. And this is one thing I did have a little issue with, the, the Apple logo, as you can see. There is no protection for the Apple logo, but um, if you do have a spare piece of screen protector laying around, you can go ahead and apply it to the back of the iPod, which I will be doing later, and you should be fine. So let's go ahead and get the iPod in this thing. As you know, the iPod 4th generation is very thin, but sometimes a little hard to get off the table. Now... I like to install this from the bottom, get everything aligned, and then we'll slide it into the top. And one little thing you want to make sure is to get, make sure you massage it, get it all around the edges, all around the edges. And one thing you want to make sure is to get your plugs, these are, these are plug ports down here. Get them put into place. That way you don't have an issue getting the hard polycarbonate shell on. And we're going to go ahead and get the, the plug in here. I like how this also uh, protects from dust and dirt getting into your getting into into your uh, iPod jacks. Now let's go ahead and get this on. We're going to go ahead and put the polycarbonate shell on. We're going to go ahead and do it bottom first. Get everything aligned, and we're just going to go ahead and massage it nice and carefully. Put the buttons in, and the power button takes a little bit of a little bit of work. So just take your time, massage it in, and you'll be good to go. And just make sure everything's pushed into place. 
and let's go give it this a once over you'll feel it click into place as you're getting it in which actually works out very well alrighty that looks really nice now let's go ahead and um, go over the couple things here power button my beautiful girlfriend not an issue getting into the to the device I have, the, I have this uh, brightness up way too high. There we go. That's much better. Okay. See? No issues here. Now, this is my own personal screen protector. I use an SGP. But uh, you can use the uh, included screen protector, which won't be an issue. Now, going along to the sides, um, your ports are here at the bottom. This is where your... Uh, audio jack port is where people say there is a problem. I actually can already feel that there is a problem. You have to really use some work to getting this thing out because it's not an easy task. Um, here we go. I just pushed the polycarbonate shell in and I was able to peel it off. A 30 pin connector, very easy, very simple, not a problem. we just go ahead and put those back in there. Now as we go around to the sides, you see you have dedicated buttons for your volume up and down rocker. Very responsive. I don't feel any softness whatsoever. And your power button, is this is the favorite thing. You hear that click? That means it's good. Now let's move to the back. As you can see, the wonderful Apple logo is exposed. Um, shouldn't be a problem. Just make sure that you, uh, you want to go ahead and put a screen protector on the back of the, the device just to make sure everything's okay. There is a film over top of the camera. I'm not really sure why. But you can probably see it right there. Um, I don't know if this is an issue or not, but uh, the camera does line up perfectly with the, with the case. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some test shots tomorrow because right now it's 8 o'clock at night and it's too dark. Down here, these vent holes are actually just for uh, show. And it's uh, surrounded with the nice Trident logo. But overall, it's a very nice case. Again, you can go ahead and pick this up on uh, tridentcase.com. And it comes in six colors. Blue, yellow, black, red, pink, and green for $24.95. Thank you for watching.